everyone welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing this cool uh, three-dimensional uh, can animation and uh, obviously as you can see we are you know it's it seems very three-dimensional it seems good and uh, you know the effects are nice but all of this can be done in Adobe XD you don't have to go to uh, another software a 3d rendering software to actually do all this so uh, without further ado let's just get started so before I get started I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, some of my wonderful subscribers who've been messaging me on LinkedIn and Twitter and uh, they've been appreciating my content so thank you very much to everyone who's been subscribing and if you want to join the family go ahead and subscribe to this channel so uh, first of all let's quickly create a artboard which is a 1920 by 1080 artboard, the standard web artboard. Just name it to uh, one, you know, for the first artboard, yeah? And here, what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, I've already saved some components. Uh, you speed up the process. So the red ball and gives you wings text is here. And um, let me just place this in the center, just like that. And the trick here is to have two pieces of text to represent two of these texts. So red is a different text, bow is a different text, just placed close to each other. So that'll give us the pull out effect, right? Uh, here, what I'm, I'm going to do is I've already downloaded a resource here, which um, is basically a mock-up. So it's an energy drink uh, mock-up, which looks uh, pretty much like this right here. Um, I've downloaded it for free. I will give all the links to all the resources in the description below. So um, what I need to do here is uh, say a new, go to a new uh, file in Adobe XD, open up any artboard, just a plain random web artboard will do. And uh, all I need to do is say open from your computer. So in Windows, it might be slightly different. And we have this energy drink mockup PSD. So Adobe XD can import PSD files without any issue. Uh, everything gets imported. Uh, obviously, smart objects won't act the same, but they are pretty good. Okay, so here we'll be doing one little thing. I'll be removing this red portion uh, out of here, and I will not be removing anything else. I'll just be removing any shadows, and we want this reflection to stay there. So let me uh, just remove this red portion and let these reflections be there. This will give us that three dimensional rotation effect that we really need. So now that I've done this, I'm just gonna copy this scan, say Command C or Control C, uh, go back to my original artboard, which is this one, and just paste it in here. And I'll make this much smaller uh, according to what we need right here and place it in the center that's perfect and um, here what I need to do is now create a, a, a basically a cover for this which will be the Red Bull cover so I'll just quickly pick the pen tool create certain points certain straight points right now we create some certain straight points right here and uh, make sure that these are leveled out and they're outlining just this grayed out portion, not the top of the can, we just need it for the cover. And once you have a basic, uh, you know, a basic pen diagram here, I'll just double click to make all these curved out. So just make sure that these are curved out and they fit the edges right here. But also make sure that they are not, you know, yeah. So th that's pretty perfect, I guess. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, I also want this to be curved like this here. So, you know, there, you know, there's a curve here and, you know, it gives a more 3D space effect, uh, which is pretty cool. And let me just curve this out a little bit as well, just for this place. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And also let me do this for all these edges and I'll skip this portion so that you guys can get to the good part uh, as soon as possible. Okay, so we don't want to just pull in the image and put it right here because we lose certain editing capabilities. First, what we need to do is just rotate this a little bit, just a little bit, just like that. Yeah, perfect. And increase the scale. So just scale it up just like this. 
and if you place it behind this and hold and select both of these and say command shift m or control shift m we will have a what you say a a cover or a mask right here so uh, we also want to hide uh, most of the text okay because these this text isn't uh, you know, meant for the three-dimensional space. So we we, we got to make sure that all this text is hidden, especially this line at the bottom, right? And uh, just place it like that. So th that's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, we want to place this entire mask inside this scan behind all this reflection. So uh, make sure also that this reflection is not too, um, you know, not too dark so that you can see it, but it's not... Uh, coming into your eyes just like that so that's pretty perfect and what we'll be doing is because this uh, energy can is so what we'll be doing is creating a mask around this energy can so just make sure that this entire can is covered just say command shift m or control shift m to mask over it and what we need to do here is make sure that these reflections are copied over so just copy uh, this texture overlay as well as this um, other overlay which we've got here so just this clip I guess you just need to copy over the clip you just need to say light this light text uh, this light texture and this texture overlay that's it and you just need to copy it so we'll just say command D to just copy it on the spot or control D for that matter and just bring it outside right here now the mask is a little too far away from the scan, so bring the mask really close so that when the reflection comes in, uh, it's not able to, you don't uh, make out that it's coming from outside the can. It should be a part of it, right? So I hope you get the point of this. And now what we'll be doing is a very, a very simple thing is uh, bringing this down a little bit, you know, to make sure that you can see the top of the can. And in the second artboard, we'll just duplicate this artboard. So say Command D or Control D while selecting this entire artboard from here. And it'll just duplicate this artboard right here. And all I need to do is bring this up to this position where it's aligned with the red and the bow. And um, what I need to do now is the tricky part. So if I go into this inner mask, which is uh, not the texture, but the mask which I've created, mask group 2 here, and the image here. So what I need to do is I need to make a quick copy of this. So just copy it over and put it right next to this. Just like that. Perfect. And um, I will drag both of these right here till Red Bull Energy Drink is about in the center like this. Um, I need to copy both of these over to the first mask as well because if it's not copied it won't animate properly so here inside this mask make sure that this entire thing is also the same just like this and remove any you know obstructions or anything else and uh, there you go so this effect or animation is now prepared one more thing that we need to do now is bring in the reflection that we had created the reflection that we had copied over so that would be that would mean that there are two text overlays texture overlays here which is right here and this one so all we need to do is just dra drag this and also select both of these so this texture as well as the texture outside so all these textures are set up and selected so I'll just drag these and make sure that this texture is now aligned with the can just like this just like the old one right because we're just rotating or revolving the scan 360 so there we go now what we need to do is we need to animate it <laughs> so we'll go ahead and prototype this go to prototype mode and on clicking this artboard we want this animation to take place what we'll do is say tap in the interaction panel go to tap and uh, auto animate should always be on that's how we're doing this or uh, auto animate is pretty cool to be honest and ease in out we're going for that and let's do about 3.5 seconds we can do four if you like and if i go to the preview or just say command enter or control enter it'll start the preview and if i click anywhere the effect should take place so if let's just click here 
and see how this animation takes place. Isn't that pretty cool? Now, another artboard where this will, rot will rotate around the axis and still feel three-dimensional because it's three-dimensional like that. We'll just rotate it, not completely, but, you know, at an angle, just like that. So 135 degrees is pretty cool. And place it in the center just like that, right? And um, another artboard will create and make sure that the artboard size is increased now, right? A little bit. So here we'll create the actual uh, the drink, uh, which we're trying to represent. So just create some basic waves, nothing too fancy, just some very basic waves, you know, some low waves actually. And just, you know, create a vector out of this, just like this. And uh, all we need to do is now give it a gradient, which I've already saved uh, for you guys, just like that. So just give it that fill gradient and we're set. Uh, so, uh, in this artboard, we'll just move this and uh, to the top just like that and make it make sure that it's outside this artboard, but make sure it's slightly inside here too, because you don't want to make this vanish. So, so that's perfect. Now what we'll be doing is moving this wave, just increasing the height. That's it. That's how the effect will take place. And for some of the people who are asking or who will ask, how do you create the, these bubbles? So many bubbles just scattered around. So I'll just show it to you. Let's create a quick ellipse, a white ellipse. Make sure that the opacity is low. So let's go ahead and create a small ellipse like this and make sure that the opacity is about uh, 35. That's fine. And if I go to the plugins panel right here, I have my confetti plugin. Uh, if I click on the confetti plugin, this is free of cost to download from the store. So 12 by four should do it randomize opacity we'll leave this for now uh, we'll say randomize scale that's for sure and enable depth of field blur so this will enable the blur effect of some of the ones which might be closer to you and just go ahead and click on run see how these bubbles have been created all i need to do is just lock this layer behind this and just copy all these bubbles so that you can see the movement of these bubbles along with this wave as well it doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll try it so that it's perfect, right? And also unselect anything else like the scan, which is not needed, and copy it over to this one. But for here also, we will need to copy the wave. So once you've copied the bubbles over, make sure that these bubbles, as you can see, are actually at the bottom below the field of view, which is this little blue dotted line here. And we will just copy this wave here for a second and make sure the height is below this blue line here. And it's probably somewhere around here, perfect. And make sure this is at the back so that the bubbles can, you know, you can view the bubbles. And all we need to do is now animate this entire thing. So we've prototyped till here. So from here, if I select the entire artboard, just click on the name of the artboard and drag this arrow to the third artboard right here. And uh, we need to say, um, time from the trigger here zero second delay that's perfect ease in out 3.5 seconds the same delay and from this last artboard select the artboard by the name here and just drag this arrow to the last artboard say time zero seconds perfect and rather than saying ease in out we want like a snappy effect which will be about three seconds perfect so let's start this from the beginning and let's see how this effect goes about we click on play and if I click anywhere on this artboard, the scan will animate just like that. That's pretty cool. And now it'll rotate it and just pour the drink in here. Isn't that pretty cool? And you can place any text that you want here, like I've done in the original artboard, the only fizz you need. Uh, you can decrease the opacity of this uh, wave so that you, know, you can see the text more. It's more visible right here. Let's start it from the beginning and let's show you the final result. This uh, can kind of comes up just like this. It rotates and it makes the drink pour in. So the only phase you need. Isn't that perfect? I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also click that bell icon because that really helps my channel grow. And also like this video if you did, share it with all your design buddies. And I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.